everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name's Rachel thank you so much for clicking on the video today it honestly means the world to me I'm so grateful for everyone's support on my little journey so today as you can see from the title I'm reviewing Jordana t-shirt cosmetics um, I am reviewing today the Set and Brighton powder duo and also a lip gloss I think I got two a clear one and a peachy one so if you want to see my thoughts and opinions the curtain doesn't mind um and how it applied then please keep on watching as you can see this is the finished result so if you like what you see and you want to see me apply the products then just keep on watching also i will leave the links down below if you want to check it out and without further ado let's get into the video i look stunning <sighs> Mm -mm. okay so i don't like this angle this is my curtain we're just gonna fucking roll with it do you know what i mean lovely so we're all up close and personal sorry about this but um that's what we've got to deal with so today i'm reviewing the set and brighton powder duos i think that's what it's called We'll find out. Um, by Jordana Tisha Cosmetics. I've never used any of her stuff before, um, but it all looks unreal. So I've already gone ahead and applied my liquid products like my foundation, my concealer, and my cream bronzer. And I've also gone ahead and done my eyebrows as well, um, just to speed up the process because we're gonna be trying the Jordana Tisha Cosmetics. And I have purchased two set and brighten powder duos in two different shades because I wasn't sure which one I would be. And also two lip glosses. Obviously, I pay for all these products myself because I was intrigued to see how these products products would work as I've never seen anything like the set and brighten duo powders before so let's get head into it so first of all we just got this card saying thank you for your purchase we hope you love your Jordana Tisha goodies I'm already vibing with this packaging like I don't know if you already know from my Charlotte Tilbury review but packaging's everything for me and I bloody love pink why is everything gone a weird colour I swear to god it keeps changing so yeah get that little card so it comes in this little ziploc pouch um and it's so cool because like as you can see it's this like love heart shaped bubble wrap which i think is really good because like it's not a waste of packaging she's done it all in one like sorry i'm hiding my face she's not done like the separate bag and then put bubble wrap in she's done it all in one um, which I think is amazing and also it keeps all the products nice and safe in there, which I can really appreciate um, And it just says Jordana Tisha cosmetics Ooh. Oh, I just bloody love pink like this is just This is my vibe all over. I'm like already obsessed Pink monster and all what can I say so these are the two lip glosses, but we'll get to those a bit later on. Oh, when will be the day that I don't have chins? Oh my god, this packaging's so cute. Stop. Look at that. Let's show you one. That is actually stunning. Thumbnail. <laughs> Jokes. Haven't got the eyelashes on, and it'd be good if I was wearing the products, right? So, I picked these up in Blondie and Half Baked. If I can remember correctly, I think Blondie's a bit more of a yellow toned um, powder. Well, so I feel like Half Baked is a bit lighter, um, and I wasn't sure which one I'd be, so I thought I'd pick them both up because I think they do a deal. I think you buy two, and then it's a bit cheaper, you get a bit of money off. Oh, right now as I'm filming this, they've got um, up to 60% off in the Valentine's sale. This goes well. RIP bank balance. Right, so let me find the shades. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, they have... Oh, you have your Build Your Own Pick and Mix bundle. That's cool. So you can get any two set and bright and powder duos. It says on the website it's normally £56, but currently as I'm filming this, it's at £44. So the shades you get is Blondie and half baked like the ones I've got. You can also get marshmallow. I think it's supposed to be for people with more fair skin or like a pink undertone. And then I think people who are more 
um, in the neutral shade range or fake tan like me um, is more blondy or half baked and then I feel like the more deeper skin tones would go for peaches which is like as it says it's got a peachy undertone so it is still brightening for the deeper skin tone but not too dark um, obviously if you want to brighten up underneath and then the deepest shade is caramel so to me it seems like a good shade range because you don't really need too many and because they're a set and brightening powder duo like you don't really want your powder being too dark and I feel like they've got all the undertones right so yeah Maybe it'd be cool if they came out of a translucent one. But yeah, so you can pick loads um, or you can get the all five of them if you're a makeup artist, say. Um, it says normally it's £140, but currently as I'm reading this, it is down to £100 and you can save 29%. So let's get into this and put this on my face because I am sick of waffling at this camera and getting all my words wrong. So let's go. I already feel like I'm going to be using half baked instead of blondie, but we'll see. I picked up both just in case. I'm actually all for getting out packaging. Getting out packaging, getting things out of packaging. So that's great. Oh, okay. And you get a little card as you open the box and it says recommended application. That's really helpful actually. Step one, set the skin with the loose setting powder using a damp makeup sponge or fluffy brush step two once the skin is set apply the pressed powder to the areas you want to brighten such as the under eyes to apply the pressed powder use a fluffy makeup brush for a lighter coverage or for a brighter effect apply with a powder puff okay lovely so that was how i was originally going to use it anyway i think is um because i normally use laura mercier translucent powder with a damp can't speak today with a damp beauty blender i say beauty blender i've never actually owned the beauty blender it's the real technique sponge miracle sponge miracle complexion so i don't know the little orange thing i'm sure us all of us girls own it so i would use that for the loose powder and then um use the pressed powder for either setting the rest of my face or like it says brightening under the eye so and any other areas so yeah i actually really appreciate it it's so cute as well i'm loving this pink and white pink and gold packaging 10 out of 10 so this is half baked oh my god i i can't get over this packaging like what how pretty honestly i can't get over this packaging guys like what <laughs> stunning so as you can see at the bottom here, you've got the loose powder and then I'm guessing as we open this lid, there'll be the pressed powder on top. Let's have a little look if I can get it open. It wasn't that difficult at all. Fucking hell. So I love that. You get, oh, I'm exposing myself. I don't want you to see too much. But yeah, as you can see, you get a mirror on top and then your little brightening pressed powder on top. And then... Do I have to unscrew it or can I pop it? Let's have a look. Oh, and then you unscrew that bit. That's nice because you could have it separate as well. I mean, obviously, this is the lid for that, but we move. So, obviously, it comes with the little sealy bit on here. Sealy, is that right? And it's nice it's got a little tab you can pull. I hate the ones where, like... They're impossible to get off, so I just have to get like a pair of tweezers and just stab through the holes. It's not a vibe. I say that, this isn't going as easy as I thought because of my nails. I need the tweezers after all. No, I'm not going to be defeated here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on. Get in. I'm sure someone said this powder smells like strawberries or so. It's got a scent. I can't smell anything yet, but we might be able to see if it does when I apply it to my face. So I've got my damp beauty sponge here. Um, like I said, it's just a Real Techniques one. I've got a mirror here. I'm just going to go over all of the areas where I crease, like my eyelids and my under eyes. Also, side note, I do naturally have creases under my eyes, so I can't test the product when it's creasing really. So sorry about that. But I mean, I can see if it enhances it, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to shut up now and just push everything in. And then what I'm going to do is... 
I'm going to pat the bottom and I'm going to open it up. Oh, that didn't really get much out. Oh, it does smell. Ooh. Oh, I like that. It's got a nice sweet scent. Right. I'll give it a bit more of a bash. Give it a shake around. Lovely. That's more like it. Come on, Cannon. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, basically just enough because what I want to do is, so what I want to do is coat this clean end of my beauty sponge just in the loose powder and then set the concealer under my eyes with it, so. It looks nice and finely milled as well. I hate those powders that are just so like, I don't know, chalky almost. I don't really know how to explain it, really thick. Like, you just know when you see a good loose powder and you're like, this is going to work. So, let's give it a whirl. Oh, that is that is quite bright. Maybe I should have gone for Blondie. Hmm. I haven't even reviewed Blondie. That's so funny. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, well. So, yeah, what I like to do is just set the concealer under my eye, like, from here to here, just to give your face a bit more of a lift and a brighten. And what I've noticed as well is if you just, like, go down the sides of your nose, it just nips it in a little bit and gives the appearance of a smaller nose. Obviously, if you don't want a smaller nose, don't do it. Everyone's makeup's different as well. I think we all try and do the same thing, you know, when something's trending, but everyone's face is different. But, yeah, just do what... Just do what you want to do, whatever feels good. Like, you haven't got to do it this way either. You can do it whatever way you want. There's no rules to make up, so. As I said, I am going to have creased under eyes. But it doesn't seem to be creasing it anymore. What are we thinking? Does it look brighter? Huh, that looks funny. I feel like it's counteracted a bit of the dark under eyes I've got going on. But uh, let's go and do it on the other eye a minute. Okay, I'll take some that's on the lid because that's going to annoy me else. Don't want to waste no product. I should be a bit closer, shouldn't I? By the way, by no means am I acting like I know what I'm doing and that my way's the right way. Um, I'm just living life. I hate that. You know when you've got sleep in your eye? Like, why are you there? Also, a good tip to make your under eye even brighter, and this goes for your concealer as well, just make sure it is all the way up to your waterline, not in your waterline obviously, but all the way up under your eye to give a brighter appearance. That's set really nice though, and I didn't need too much product to do that either. I've used less than I would with my Laura Mercier, I think. So normally I would just do this, I'll get some like loose powder, pop it under my eyes and then I'll get like a pressed powder and put it on the rest of my face where I want to set itchy nose oh. so where I want to set actually like my nose um so I might sorry I'm doing this because my nose is really itchy but I think oh, fuck me my nose is so itchy but I think what's recommended is to just set not just under your eyes but like say your t-zone as well wherever you wish to um, with a damp beauty sponge and the loose powder and then only brighten with the pressed powder so I think I am just gonna pick up some more on my sponge and just go uh, in my t-zone I probably should have used blondie for this but I'm being lazy I won't lie to you to be fair I was a bit worried that I hate when I've put my base on um, and then I go to put powders on and then my spots come through like when I put all my creams and liquids on I like hide away my spots and then as soon as I put powder on like oh there they are again but it's not like I have them here now I'm pointing them out but like they're not like screaming back out if that makes sense it's not too bad although I have had a bit of it there but I probably applied a bit too much to be honest like I said I'm not an expert might apply a bit down here as well. Right, lovely. So that is the loose powder all reviewed. And um, what I think so far is I can't fault it at all. It smells amazing. It's like finely milled. You haven't got to use too much. And yeah, I think it's brilliant. I do want to do at the end just a little um, back camera flash photo because 
I don't want to say, oh yeah, this is great, and then like you get flashback. I'm really hoping there isn't, and I highly doubt there is, um, because Jordana Tisha is actually a makeup artist herself, and I would like to think she'd come up with something good. I've got high hopes, is what I'm trying to say. Oh my god, my face smells amazing. I've just come like that. It looked like that um, pouting filter on TikTok, don't I? And now I'm just picking up this Morphe M536 brush. It's just a dome brush, just to use the powder, pressed powder, to get under my eyes. I literally, it's so easy to open, but I can't. Them. it's so easy to open but I just seem to make it so hard for myself like anyway so that's the powder we're gonna pop it underneath Joe, you know I feel like blondie wouldn't be too bad to use if you want me to try out blondie let me know or I can keep you guys updated and see what that one's like I feel like I'd dabble between the two maybe I'd use blondie at the start when I've like fake tanned but then half baked when my tan's fading a little bit or blondie when I'm going out or like more in the summer make me have a bit more colour to my skin I don't know just picking up some product tap it on might use the mirror in this actually I don't feel like I got enough there I'm gonna give it a little swell I ain't gonna lie and then I'll tap it on top of there so we ain't wasting that product oh wow as you can see already Oh, she bright. You don't need too much. And it's so like soft, you know when a powder's like really soft on your skin. Sorry, are you si Are you seeing this? I've got a mirror in front of me as well, by the way, if you think like, where the fuck am I looking? I look airbrushed and bright and like awake. Obviously it's not getting rid of my creased under eyes, but it's like, Masking it quite, like, you see my face that's a bit more up here and more awake, whilst this side I look a bit more down and like, you know? You know, you can see the dark circle still coming through, whilst this side's more airbrushed and brightened and awake and give a little bit of a facelift. Yeah, I like that. So, I'm going to dip my brush in and do the other side and look into this mirror actually. I feel like I've literally, I've gone on an editing app and just airbrushed my face. Like, I'm sorry. I think earlier when I was applying a loose powder, I was doing too much and took a bit of my makeup off because you can see this coming through. Because whilst you see the rest of my face, um, my spots aren't coming through or any texture or any skin underneath. But my freckles and I think a spot there is showing but that's my bad i think i'm using too much you know i feel like you haven't got to use that much at all slide it down the nose might pop a bit up here as well Let's blend that out and then you can brighten the rest of your face as well just get a bit more of that kionsu sorry this is airbrushing like i've hidden the spots even more oh let's do this actually Oh, do you know what I should have done? Fuck. I should have done my powder. I should have done. I know what I should have done. I fucked it. So I should have set my under eyes and my face with the loose powder, gone in with my powder bronzer, blush, highlight, finished my face, and then have gone in with the brightening pressed powder before setting my face. Oh, well. We learn for next time. Like I said at the start, there is no right way to do makeup or there's no rules or whatever the fuck i said i'm sorry you think i have bronzer on as well like this is just cream bronzer like i don't even put my like i said i'm not even putting my fucking powder ones down yet but sorry i'm a, i love this i bloody love this already i need to try the blondie at some point though because this is quite bright but is a brightening powder, so what do you expect, Rachel, eh? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply all my other makeup, like my lashes, my powders, and come back and see if, I don't know if I'll still use that powder to clean my contour up a little bit, and also I'm gonna be trying out the, some of the lip glosses I bought, so stay tuned. So I've applied the rest of my makeup, my setting spray, my eyelashes, and it all applied amazingly on top, I had no problems. Um, I feel like my face is still quite airbrushed looking but if something looks odd my lips basically i've lost my lip liner 
So I've actually used my eyebrow pencil and I've put lipstick on top. But obviously I'm reviewing these lip glosses. So it will look normal, hopefully, if these are good, which I'm sure they will be. So yeah, I picked up two lip glosses. One in peach, please. So obviously it's like a peachy one. And one in no shade, so a clear gloss. Open them up. Yeah, if you guys want me to do a separate review on the blondie one or let you know how it goes and I'm happy to do that I just didn't want to do like half one face and half the other because I've got to go out in public and I feel like if I've got one half of my face more yellow and the other half not I'm gonna look a bit strange so oh, I miss having my eyelash extensions but as much, much as I love strip lashes like they just don't get close enough to the lash line do they Oh well, so there's the clear gloss, but I don't think I'm going to use it because I hate first time getting a clear gloss messy. Like it looks the best on lipstick, but I hate getting it all dirty. I really don't like doing that. So I'm guessing I will go for Peach Please. Such a nice, I can't wait to try this. I hope it's just not too light. I feel like this could suit all skin tones, like even deeper skin tones and use this as like an ombre in the middle of a lip. And I like this as well. It's a bit purpley, actually. Like a purple lid, metallic lid. Anyway, let's give this a whirl. I'm sorry. That smells incredible. Oh my God, it smells like cakes, like strawberries and cakes. And I wish you could smell that. I like the wand or the doe fur on this one. It feels like it'd be really easy to apply, so. Let's do it. I should probably get a mirror and not use a viewfinder. Oh, it's really smooth. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I want to eat it. I won't, but I want to. I've got a hair. I'm obsessed. Like, it's not too much. I, I probably have applied a bit too much. Standard Rachel. But I'm living for that. And you know when, like, Obviously, I won't eat it, but like you can sort of taste it on your lips. Like maybe a bit weird to say, but oh, incredible! Right, so I'm just gonna quickly try a back camera flash photo and see if there's any flashback. Hopefully not. I've not read the contents, but what normally gives flashback is the one product I think that makes powders have flashback is titanium dioxide like a strong quantity of it and if you don't know what flashback is basically it's like a white powdery look on your face like i could have you know the most orange ass makeup on ever right but it looked flawless and i take a flash camera photo and i'm just white like ghost it's just not a good look hate to out it but the nyx hd powder loose powder that's literally white don't get it okay well in my opinion i wouldn't get it because that shit makes you look like a ghost and like i'm not a beauty guru but you know i'm aware of that because i've been there myself so yeah i wouldn't recommend that one but you know so it might be you got to use it a certain way i don't know right okay it's gonna look ugly but we need to find out. Ready? Yep, I'm not gonna like insert the picture because I don't need to expose myself like that, but I'll just show you briefly. There is no flashback whatsoever. If anything, it looks more flawless. Like as if you'd think it would get any more flawless looking, but oh, I'm obsessed. 10 out of 10. Might even replace my Laura Mercier powder. That's the tea. Anyway, let's get to the reviewing part of this. So, my overall review is I rate Jordana Tisha Cosmetics so much. I am over the moon with my products. Um, she's cruelty free as well, which is a plus. And I don't think this will be the last time I will be buying products from her company. The Set and Brighton Duo Powder is amazing. I've not seen any of it. Um, in the beauty market, beauty industry. I think it's a brilliant idea. You get two in one and the concept behind it, it's just, it just makes sense, you know? Also, I don't know if I said, but when I say get concealer and powder and brightening powder all up to your waterline, I also don't put any mascara now on 
my bottom lashes if I want to keep like a brighter look under my eye. I don't know if that works, but I feel like that's what works for me. Um, the powder smells amazing and the lip gloss is amazing. It feels like butter and the colour is amazing. She's got loads of different shades as well. I can't wait to try out the clear gloss as well. I'm sure it'll be a 10 out of 10. I've got no complaints. I'm a very happy bunny. And it's cruelty free. And there's a sale right now, well, as I'm filming this. Uh, but I do take ages to upload and get videos out. But it's the 4th of February today and i feel like if it's a valentine's thing surely it's got a couple of weeks on it well 10 days to be exact what are you all doing for valentine's by the way or galentine's you do you boo whatever makes you feel good just treat yourself either way and have a great day love yourself love your partner loves in the air so yeah sorry about the background on this video but you know i'm not professional i'm not a youtuber like an influencer. I'm just a girl documenting her memories and having a little hobby. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, please could you subscribe um, and even turn the notification bell on if you want to be notified every time I upload. Also, if you could like this video, maybe even comment. Let me know down below if you have made an order or have used it before, your thoughts, your opinions. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll love you and leave you. Bye. Bye.